Okay, hi YouTube. We have a lot of patch notes today made for May 31st, so let's dive right into it. Senna, uh, bonus magic damage, nerf, federal star levels, Tom Kench, uh, base shield nerf at 2 and 3 star, reflect damage buff at 1 and 2 star, damage cooldown mm, down to 1.5 seconds, I'd say that's a buff. So he does more damage but has a smaller shield. Two costs, Nar plus 50 HP, more AD on transform, and more armor on transform. So Nar got a pretty decent buff. Sorry, I just finished a, t a set 7 game. Uh, Lilia, spell damage, nerf at all star levels. Kiana, minus 5 AD, uh, 2 and 3 star spell damage nerf. <clears throat> Fresh, chain missile speed significantly increased. Fix an issue where it can become half visible. <laughs> Tristana minus 10 AD. Spell percent AD buff. Spell base damage buff. Okay. Twitch minus 5 AD. Yone minus 5 AD and less attack speed. Diana minus 5 AD. Spell shield nerf. Orb damage nerf. And just, just telling us the total damage. Okay. Yeah, pretty big nerf, pretty decent nerfs. Diana's very strong right now. Elise, plus 50 HP, minus 5 armor and MR, and spell damage nerf. I don't think Elise is that overpowered right now, so I'm kind of surprised. Lowey, uh, spell damage buff, resist steal percentage buff, resist steal duration down by 1 second. So, does a little more damage, she gets a little more armor and MR, but it's for 1 last second. New news, spell damage buff at 1 and 2 star. Olaf, <laughs> plus 50 starting mana, plus 40 total mana. Spell attack speed bonus nerf, and spell attack speed duration buff. So Olaf's going to be casting a lot less, a lot less frequently, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't know about nice, but like uh, Olaf feels kind of weird right now. Swain, spell damage nerf. Transform attack, transformed attack, tag that's basic attack to proc things like Bramble Vest, Crown Champions, etc. I don't know if that's a buff, but we'll see. Or nerf. Swain's OP. Glad they nerfed him. Silas! Uh, plus 50 HP, plus 5 armor and armor. Uh, less starting and total mana, which is nice, because god damn, I hate Silas so much, he's so bad. Uh, spell damage, nerf, spell shield, buff. This is nice. Silas does not feel like a tank at all, so that's good. Volley Bear, minus 10 HP, uh, 10 AD, spell damage, hella nerfed, total dam- uh, they just tell you total damage, a temporary fix, his HP on cast is just a flat 100. With Mage Emblem now, he gains two copies of his buffs, so Lightning will proc twice in addition to double health, etc. Okay, cool. Yeah, Volley Bear, too many bugs. Broken, uh, moving on. Corky, plus 10 total mana. Spell missile AD ratio. Uh, instead of just 100%, it's now 60, 60, 150. Big one AD ratio nerfed. Okay, so Corky got nerfed. I think PBE just went down. <laughs> I'm recording this at like 11.52 a.m., so... Um, uh, Sona, a lot less starting in total mana, uh, stun duration, just a flat one second, okay, so she'll be casting a lot more often, but now it's only a one second stun. Okay, yeah, BB went down for patching, all good. Um, Talon, <laughs> mm, plus 25 starting total mana, spell dagger AD ratio, hella buff. Jumping base damage, ner uh, buff at 1 star, nerf at 2 and 3 star, jumping AD ratio, hella nerfed. Okay, so I, I'd say it's a nerf. Talon feels very strong right now, so it's fine. Zaya, plus 10 AD, uh, minus 15 total mana, base fetter damage buff at all star levels, recall AD ratio got nerfed. Okay, don't know how... I would say these are probably more so a buff than a nerf. We'll see. 8 costs. 
Deja. Uh, plus 50 starting mana, plus 20 total mana, minus 10 AD, pretty big buff to attack speed. The spell buff duration is from 5 to 10 seconds of the buff. Passive damage got nerfed. Spell damage got nerfed. So Deja is mainly like a... Like an auto attacker, sort of. Because of her passive. But they kind of nerfed that a lot, so... But they did buff her attacks. I don't know. It's weird. Alright, we'll see. Itis, plus 10 armor and MR. Spell team shield buff at 3 star. Itis is like one of the best uh, frontliners you can have at the moment. And literally gives you free shimmer scale. 3 shimmer scale, so. Pretty good. She owe you armor and MR, nerfed by 10. Siphon, buffed attack speed, charge AD ratio got buffed, and bite AD ratio got buffed. Okay, yeah, Siphon feels felt so bad. So bad. It took so long to charge, and then you just, like, you would never charge, like, only get a charge, like, once. It's so bad. We'll see. Maybe Siphon's actually worth being a carry now. Five costs. Pike. Plus ten total mana. Spell damage nerf again. Secondary damage nerf again. Yeah, Pike is broken, so... More sh more nerfs. Soraka, minus 10 AD, uh, plus 40 starting mana, and plus 20 total mana. Her passive will give 15 per auto. Oh, we'll give an extra 15 per auto. Okay. Spell healing buff. Okay. Uh, cool. I'd like say it's a nerf, but her spell healing got slightly buffed, so we'll see. Yasuo, spell shield, nerf. Spell AD ratio, nerf. Yeah, Yasuo is very strong. Uh, 10 cost. Aoshin, plus 20 total mana. Take him a little longer to cast. Aurelian So, Woo, wow. Uh, 60 out of 100 to 50 out of 75. So 10 less starting mana. 25 less total mana. Spell damage got nerfed. AD reduction duration, nerf. From 5 to 3 seconds. Okay. Aurelian so will be casting a lot more often, which is good because holy cow, it takes him forever to get the black holes to like get bigger, so that's nice. Uh, Chates. Assassin, crit damage got nerfed at all uh, levels. Bruiser HP got buffed at 2 and 4 Bruiser. Cannoneer bonus AD damage got nerfed at all levels. Dragon bonus HP got buffed by 300. Dragon Mancer nerfed. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think they buffed Dragon Mancer a while back, so that's why they had to lower that. But now the what's it called the more the more two stars you have for Dragon Masters, the more it will give for stats. So that's fine. Uh, Evoker buffed. Cool. Guardian shield HP amount. Uh, buff at 2 guardian, nerf at 6 guardian. Guild, stat bonus. Nerf at 4, 6, and 8. Uh, 4, 6, and 8, sorry. 4, 5, 6. My bad. Uh, Jade, statue HP. Sorry. Statue HP explosion damage nerfed. Legend. Legend now only sacrifices champions. Yeah. Uh, I saw people were able to get, like, a free sacrifice on, like, target dummies or, or just, like, jade statues and things like that. You can, you can sacrifice Nomsi? That's funny. But, yeah. Kind of stupid. I mean, Legend, uh, I haven't even touched it because it looks, because of Volley Bear. Mirage, Executioner, Crit Damage Bonus. Okay, I read the dirty, I, I read this buff only so I was like wow they buff the buffing this no they're buffing it at two two mirage but nerf that four six and eight mirage because wow executioner is broken <laughs> everyone was running it spell sword AP per auto buffed at all levels warlord nerf at four six and eight HP 
And AP got also nerfed at 4, 6, and 8. Okay. Mystic. MR. Buff. Revel. Firework damage. Buff at 2. Nerf at 3 and 4. Uh, I'm sorry. 4 and 5. Scale Scorn. Bonus damage. Nerf. Damage reduction. Nerf. Shapeshifter. HP on transform. Buff. Shimmer Scale. Shimmer Scale items now remove themselves from units when those units are benched from the board. That's nice. Remover will no longer use itself up if it is used only to remove Shimmer Scale items. Nice. Crown of Champions proc rate. Nerfed by one second. Determined Invested Deaths Required. Down by one, which is nice. Goldmaster Staff proc rate. Plus 10%. Mogul's Mail. Max stacks from 50 to 30. And just straight up buffed. Okay, cool. Temporary fix. Philosopher's Stone will never proc. Okay, yeah. If you guys saw the bug, there was a really bad bug with Philosopher's Stone that if you kept on re-rolling on a unit... Oh, it's got, if you rolled super fast, it would give you hella copies. So... For now, Philosopher's Stone doesn't work. Uh, Tempest. Lightning damage. Buff at all levels. Warrior, proc rate, buffed, bonus damage, nerf. Okay, so it's a higher chance of it proccing, but it's going to do less damage. Whispers, AD and AP per stack, buff at 2, nerf at 6 and 8. Added hyper roll versions of the following augments. I'm not going to read through those. Items, blood firster, shield HP percentage. Down by 5%. Uh, radiant. Blue buff and Radiant blue buff reverted to 50 starting mana. Uh, radiant Gunblade. Morello gives you 10 more AP. Death's Defiance. 5% less Omni Vamp and uh, 1 second less the bleed duration. Augments. Combat Training. There's now only one tier of Combat Training at Gold tier. AD per stack 1 starting AD 5. Combat training was broken. At least, like, the prismatic version, I would, I think. Hot shot. Burn damage from 6 to 8%. It's a nice buff. Penitence. Disarm duration. Got a slight buff. I don't know what this augment is. Reckless spending. Damage amp from 30 to 40%. Nice buff. Tiamat. Splash damage from 60 to 40%. This has to do with, like, warrior proccing. Twilight Umbridge. I don't know what this does. Stealth from 6 to 7 seconds. A lot of bug fixes. Nice. Volleybear no longer gains infinite HP. <laughs> uh, Shimmer Scale. And a lot of other stuff. That's it. I think this might be the la second to last patch. There might be one more patch on next Monday. So we'll see. But yeah. A lot of patch notes. Big patch. Big PPE patch. Thank you so much for watching. See y'all next time. Take care.